Hey guys, so I wanted to do this video because I hear time and time when it comes to stuff, oh, when it comes to apply makeup, oh, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, doing this is wrong, doing this is right, wrong, doing, doing it this way is perfect, whatever. For me, when it comes down to makeup, there's no specific rule, like, you can do whatever you want, like, a major one is, um, you shouldn't use, um, matte eyeshadows in the crease, well, I, you shouldn't use my you should you shouldn't use shimmer eyeshadows in the crease may i use shimmer eyeshadows in the crease i don't care now obviously if you want a more define def, to define the crease then you'd obviously use a matte but there's no specific rule i'll, I'll go in the i'll go in glitter when it comes to crease most of the time i really don't care just because i do love my glittery eyeshadows um Another one is you should only use cool tone um, bronzers to contour. You can use warm tone, warm tone bronzers if you want to contour, but obviously you won't get that def that harsh definition that you would do, would do if you were to use a more cool tone bronzer. But it doesn't mean that you shouldn't use a bronze uh, warm tone bronzer. It's up to you. Like. For me, there's no there's no rules. Like, if you want to put concealer on your lips, put concealer on your lips. Personally, I don't like that look, but it's not it's not up to me. If you like that look, you go for that look. You rock it. You know what I mean? Like, there's no rules whatsoever. Like, do whatever you want. Like another one which I use, which is Jeffree Star's um, uh, Skin Frost, um, that black one. I use that to contour. Yeah, I know, I use that to contour. It's not a bronzer, it's got glitter in it, but I use it to contour, you know what I mean? Like, you shouldn't, like, follow follow rules. You shouldn't you shouldn't feel that you have to f follow specific rules when it comes to makeup. The whole point is ma of makeup is where you, you're experimenting. You're choosing your own style, you're discovering a style that suits you or a style that you enjoy. It's just all about experimenting and stuff like that. It's like a painter, you know what I mean? Like... A good one was, uh, who's laughing of? Is it Ger the one who the, the one Picasso? Is it Picasso who did the Ger Ger something painting? And you know what I mean. The whole point is like painters and people with like fashion designers and stuff like that. Not all of them like follow the rules. They do like do things outside the box but you know because it's a creative sort of industry isn't it like makeup fashion art uh, all that is creative where you you do you if that makes any sense I just thought I'd do this video because it really annoys me when people are like oh you shouldn't put you know it's up to you do whatever you want if you want to put glitter eyeshadow in the crease you put glitter eyeshadow in the crease you know what I mean like do whatever you want if you want to do heavy eye makeup in the daytime do heavy eye makeup in the daytime i do heavy makeup I, I, makeup eyes in the daytime i go bold with lips in the daytime i don't care but it's just you know what i mean like some people feel especially if you're starting out with makeup you feel makeup you may feel that you need to follow these rules you really don't have to just do what you do what do whatever you feel comfortable to do just express yourself and do what you want to do don't feel that you've been pressured to follow certain rules when it comes to makeup do whatever you want to do but yeah that's it for this video so bye guys